following is a feature presentation of the Replay Sports Channel, home for the great games. Tonight we conclude week two of World Football League action with the 0-1 Tampa Bay Bandits visiting the 0-1 New York Generals. We are live at Yankee Stadium this evening. It's 70 degrees, slight wind, clear evening here in the Bronx where the Tampa Bay Bandits will be playing the New York Generals. Both teams 0-1 to start the season. Tampa Bay lost a close one to Birmingham, 34-31 at Legion Field in Week 1. Tampa Bay finished 2020 3-11, second worst record, and also last in the Southern Division. New head coach Urban Meyer in his first season at the helm. He replaced Steve Spurrier, uh, who ended up coaching last season. The Bandits used the draft to address need on the offensive line. Three out of, the, of their six picks went to offensive linemen. Last season, they also had the third worst defense. They gave up 410 yards a game. That was second worst in the league, allowing 31 points a game. That was sec second to last, and 307 passing yards per game. Offense also needs to show improvement. Uh, they were dead last in rushing, only gaining 62.2 yards per game. But they do have Tom Brady. Tom Brady finished last season, 316 completions, 521 yards, 4,150 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, and 14 interceptions. And across the sideline, we have the New York Generals. They lost to the Washington Federals last week, 25 to 10. They finished with the worst record last season at two and 12, and also last in the Metropolitan Division. New head coach, Robert Sala, is in his first season as head coach. He replaced Adam Gase. Uh, Sala is the former defensive coordinator of the St. Louis Stars. In the draft, their number one overall pick, they took defensive end Chase Young out of Ohio State. The draft emphasis was on defense. Last season, the defense gave up an average of 126 rushing yards per game and allowed 206 passing yards a game. That was third best in the league and a lone bright spot. Allowed only three, 13 passing touchdowns last season. The offense also does need to show improvement under second-year man Daniel Jones. Total yards, offense only gained 268 yards. Points per game, a measly 11.2 points. Rushing averaged 81.2 yards a game, passing 187 yards a game, and only nine passing touchdowns. So again, Daniel Jones returning for his second season, hopefully to do better. Completed 244, pa 244 out of 483 passes for 2,912 yards, nine touchdowns versus 11 interceptions. So we're going to head down to the field and get ready for kickoff of our Monday night game to end week two between the Bandits and the Generals. And the Generals have won the toss. They have elected to receive. So the Bandits are set to kick off. A clear evening here, only 70 degrees in the Bronx. As you can tell, the baseball outline there for the Yankees as uh, the Generals are one of the few teams that share a stadium with a baseball team. And there's a kick. It's a short one to Olszewski. Olszewski manages to return it to the 24-yard line. So the Generals will set up at their own 24. Let's go ahead and uh, give you the starting lineup for the offense. Daniel Jones, second-year man at quarterback. Behind him will be running back James Robinson, fullback will be Andy Janovich. The wide receivers, Jamison Crowder and Corey Davis. The tight end will be Logan Thomas. And looking at the offensive line, Danny Pinter at left tackle, Andrew Wiley at the left guard. Over the ball is Trey Hopkins. Greg Van Roten will be the left guard, and Nate Solder will be at right tackle. First and 10, we're just getting underway here. Generals shift to a two tight end formation. Daniel Jones barking out the signal. 
He's back to pass, looking, fires complete to Davis at the 30. And it looks like he's going to be a little bit shy. And yes, uh, Robert Sala's already throwing out the challenge flag as Hopkins gets up a little bit slow, favoring his foot. And the video replay, not far from here in New York, confirms that he is short by a few inches. So it brings up second in inches now. New York Generals are in their red jerseys and white pants and red helmets. Tampa Bay Bandits, white uniforms, and their silver helmets. Let's take a look at that uh, while uh, Hopkins is being tended to. Let's take a look at that Tampa Bay defense. Using a 4-3, you have Robinson and and Jordan at the defensive ends. Interior linemen are B.J. Hill and Dominican Sue. The interior linebackers, Greenlaw, Kendricks, and Shaq Barrett. The defensive backs, Kenny Moore the second, Quadre Diggs. The deep safety man is Trey Boston and Kevin King. So again, second and in inches for the New York Generals are just underway. High formation behind Jones, he hands it off to Robinson, and Robinson picks up enough for the first down. Offensive line for New York is hobbled a little bit. Chris Hubbard, normally starting guard for them, out four weeks with a knee injury. And defensively for Tampa Bay Bandits, they are missing Nick Bosa. Neck injury, he's going to be out for 11 weeks. And cornerback Desmond Trufant with the ACL injury, he's going to be missing at least nine weeks. All right, so they gain the first down. Jones is going to drop back into the pistol formation. Robinson, the lone setback. Jones under fire, and he gets sacked. Robinson with the sack, a loss of three, brings up second and 13. So that's been the problem protecting the young quarterback for New York. Three wide receivers set for New York again. Jones back to pass. A little bit better protection this time. Completes over the middle to Crowder. And Crowder with an 11-yard gain to the New York 43. Brings up third and two. They'll empty the backfield out now. Man in motion to the near side. Jones back to pass. He's going to be forced to run as the pocket closes. He crosses midfield. Diggs finally pulls him down at the Tampa Bay 48. It's a first down, gain of nine yards for Daniel Jones. So a promising starting possession for the Generals. As we're just underway here, week two of Monday Night Football. Jones hands off to Robinson, off tackle right. He's going to pick up about three yards before being whipped down by Greenlaw by the 45-yard line. Brings up second and seven. They'll stay in the I formation. Robinson will get the call again. It's almost the same play as before. Pick up another three yards. It'll bring up third and four. New York will empty out the backfield. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Man in motion. Jones back to pass. Fires to Chenault at 31. Finally brought down by King. They'll mark the ball at the Tampa Bay 30 first down generals. Just over 10 minutes ago, first quarter, no score. If you're just joining us, New York won the toss. They're getting ready to start their ninth play of this opening drive. They've had the ball for just under five minutes. I formation once again behind Jones. Robinson with the handoff. He's going to go off tackle left. 
and lucky to get one yard. Kendricks with the stop there. We'll go to a two tight end formation here on second and nine. Robinson the lone setback. Jones under center, and there is a penalty flag before we get started. Our referee tonight is Carl Cheffers, and he says there was a false start on the offense. So the generals will be moved back five yards. Ball will be placed at the Tampa Bay 34. It'll be second and 14 now for New York. Tampa Bay's defense being tested a little bit uh early here tonight. New York will shift to a three wide receiver format. Jones in the pistol. Back to pass. Has time. Fires over the middle. Crowder went to leap for it, but he couldn't pull it in. That's Jones' first incomplete pass of the night. And it brings up a very long third and 14 for the Generals. They'll go to an empty backfield this time, four wide receivers. Tampa Bay looking to get a stop here first in the first drive. Jones back to pass. Under pressure again, he's going to take off. Across the 25 to the 20. Finally slides down to the 19. Gets enough for the first down. They needed 14. He got 15. The ball will be set at the Tampa Bay 19. So the Generals inside the red zone. 11 plays, 57 yards, consuming just over six minutes so far. Le'Veon Bell will now come in as the tailback. He'll get the handoff, pitch out to the left, pass the 20. And finally stop at Kendricks at the 13. Generals with a very promising drive here to start the game. Robinson's the lone setback. Three wide receivers set for the Generals. Jones back to pass. Looking, firing near side to Crowder. Complete. He's finally spun down by Jones. Ball will be set at the Tampa Bay six-yard line. First and goal, Generals. The New York Generals are within striking distance of a score. Le'Veon Bell comes, reports back into the game at tailback. Jones calls out the signals. Bell gets the handoff. Off tackle right, and Greenlaw just stops him at the line. Just stone cold stops him at the line. No gain. Second and goal. Just under six and a half minutes to go. And if you're just joining us, New York has had the ball now for just over eight minutes. Tampa Bay's been on defense the whole time, and those guys have got their already got their hands on their hips, and they're they are trying to suck in air. Three wide receivers set for New York. Jones in the pistol. Looking to score here. First possession. Goes back. Throws it to Davis. But the collision with Moore forces him to drop the ball. It's incomplete. Brings up third and goal. They'll stay with the three wide receivers set. Robinson, Crowder, and Davis, the wide receivers. Chenault and then Thomas at the tight end position. Robinson, the lone setback. Jones, back to pass. There's a penalty flag down. And Carl Jeffers signals holding against the offense. The penalty will be declined because it was an incomplete pass to Davis. And decision time here for head coach Salah. And he sends in the field goal kicking unit as they will try to attempt to put some points on the board. Jason Myers will come out to kick. The snap, the hold, the kick, it's good. Myers is true from 23 yards out. New York takes the early lead, three to nothing, against the Tampa Bay Bandits. The Bandits are set to receive in just a moment. An impressive drive for the New York Generals. 
17 plays, 70 yards, just over nine minutes of possession. Myers connects on a 23-yard field goal. New York leads it three to nothing. The Bandits await the kickoff. Harris is the deep man. He's going to take it from one yard inside the goal and brings it out to finally the 23-yard line. So out will come Tom Brady as he will lead the Tampa Bay offense. It's Brady at quarterback. Mike Davis, the tailback. C.J. Ham at the fullback. The wide receivers, Cooper Cup and Calvin Ridley. The tight end is Tyler Higby. The offensive line, Worfs, the rookie at left tackle. Phillips at left guard. Hovering over the ball is Ryan Jensen. Left guard is John Feliciano. And Cameron Irving is the right tackle. First and 10 for Tampa Bay at their own 23, just over just under five and a half minutes ago, opening quarter. They're going to shift to a three wide receiver set now. Brady barking out the signals. Play action, Brady, and it wasn't fooling the New York defense. Collier gets the sack. No one was fooled by the play action as Tampa Bay now will have the ball placed at their own 12-yard line. Let's take a look at that New York general defense. They're using the 4-3, Josh Schwett and Chase Young, the number one overall pick, are at the defensive end positions. L.J. Collier, who just uh, hit Brady there on that last play, and Kenny Clark are the defensive tackles. The interior linemen, Shaq Lawson and Alex Highsmith. Your defensive backs are Darius Williams, John Johnson, Taylor Rapp, Steve Nelson, and Jonathan Jones. So Tampa Bay's got their work cut out for them now. Brady will set up in the pistol. Davis is the lone setback. Brady, back to pass. Looking over the middle. This one's picked off by Williams. Williams is brought down right before the goal line. Let's take a little other look at that one again on our replay. Brady back to pass, and Williams guessed the route, and he is stopped from going in for six points by the Tampa Bay offense. So now New York has a possibility to improve their score to 10 to nothing. So they go in with the, the big lineup, the jumbo package. Janovich is at fullback. Robinson's the tailback. Man in motion. Robinson up over the goal line. <laughs> Robinson made it look easy, and he had a lot of help from that offensive line. Take another look at that play again. You see the penetration the offensive line gets, and Robinson just can kind of body surf his way into the end zone. Myers on to kick the extra point. And just like that, the Generals are up 10 to nothing against the Tampa Bay Bandits. Back to Yankee Stadium with the Generals surprisingly up 10 to nothing against the Bandits. Only 435 left to go first quarter. Tampa Bay leads the all-time series against the Generals 14 to 10. This is the 25th meeting between the two teams. Last time these two teams met, 2018, the uh, Eastern Division Playoff Series. Tampa Bay defeated New York here at Yankee Stadium. By a score of 40 to 16. A very memorable game for Tampa Bay Bandit fans. All right, so Myers tees the ball up. Bandits will get the ball again. See if Tom Brady can, can get the Bandits going here. Another deep kickoff by Myers. Harris takes it with inside his goal line, brings it out to about the 24. So Tom Brady, now down by 10 points, will try to 
lead the Tampa Bay comeback. He'll start in a three wide receiver set. Davis is the lone setback. Cup, Ridley, and McLaurin are the wide receivers. Higby is the tight end. Brady, back to pass, has time, fires over the middle to Cup. Cup picks up the first down. Cup had an awesome game against Birmingham last week, catching seven passes for 96 yards. Brings up first and 10, ball at the Tampa Bay 36-yard line. Brady, still in the pistol. Davis, the lone setback. Brady, back to pass. Fires a screen to Davis. Davis, finally brought down by Highsmith at the 47. Another Tampa Bay first down as they inch closer and closer to midfield. See some substitutions in there now for Tampa Bay. Leonard Fournette will come in as the tailback. Brady under center. Hands the ball off to Fournette. Fournette's going to go to the right side. He's past midfield. Finally brought down by Lawson at the New York 43. So first down Tampa Bay, and they are inside New York territory with just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter. New York leads 10 to nothing. But Tampa Bay has a promising drive. Davis comes back in at running back. Go to the I formation. Brady hands it off to Davis. He goes off tackle left. Gets to about the 40 before Clark tackles him down. A gain of three yards. Brady lines up in the pistol now. Three wide receiver set. Brady gets the ball, back to pass, fires down the near side to Ridley, Ridley's got room, he could go all the way, he does, touchdown Calvin Ridley, Brady 40 yard pass to Calvin Ridley, and just like that, Tampa Bay has responded, and they are back in this ball game, let's take another look at that on our replay, plenty of time, and Ridley was way past his man, he was long gone. And now on for the extra point attempt it is Sanders. Sanders kicks it right down the middle. And just like that, Tampa Bay now only trails by three points, 10 to 7 to New York. Don't forget at halftime, folks, we'll be going over uh, the week two scores, some of the highlights, a lot of action, a lot of. Uh, Interesting stories that happened in week two. We want to bring you up to date on. So stay tuned for the halftime show uh, coming up after the second quarter. So for New York, Alzuski is the deep man. Sanders kicks it off. It's a short kick. And Alzuski is finally brought down at the 37. So we have just under a minute to go, first quarter. New York leads 10 to 7. Le'Veon Bell in at running back. He's lined up in the I formation. Jones with a handoff. Bell goes off tackle right. He gets past the 40. Greenlaw brings him down at the 42. It's a gain of five yards. Again, last season. New York struggled in a lot of offensive ca uh, categories, one of them being the run game. Uh, again, averaging uh, only 62 yards rushing per game. That was the league worst. That was pretty bad. So with the uh, addition of, of Robinson, and they already had Le'Veon Bell last year, they're hoping this 1-2 tandem will, will kind of help make things a little bit better. Speaking of Robinson, he's now in at running back. And this could be the last play of the first quarter. Robinson gets the handoff, off tackle right. He doesn't get much. Shaq Barrett gets the stop at the 44, gain of two. And the Generals are going to let the clock expire. So that's the end of the first quarter. The Generals will be facing a third and three as we start the second quarter. New York leads it 10-7. to seven. 
And don't forget, football fans, we've got a great Monday night game for you next week. We're going to conclude week three with a Central Division matchup. The St. Louis Stars, 2-0, will pay a visit to Soldier Field to take on the 2-0 Chicago Fire. So this is for uh, the lead in the Central Division. This should be a great matchup between the Stars and the Fire. That's going to be week three here in the WFL. So let's go to this game here. We're going to take a look at our first quarter statistics. Slight edge to New York. They did have the ball for six minutes longer than Tampa Bay. Uh, 82 combined yards versus Tampa Bay 65 yards. The one turnover uh, that did seem to have an impact on Tampa, but they were able to come right back. Uh, New York, three or four on third down so far. Uh, only one penalty assessed to New York. Uh, both quarterbacks have been sacked already in this game. All right, so we head back to the field. New York is facing a third and three near midfield. Empty backfield behind Jones. Man in motion. Jones back to pass. Has time. Tries to throw to Davis, but it is incomplete. Again, Davis cannot pull the pass in. Brings up fourth and three, and we're going to see a punt attempt by Corey Bojerquez. Bojerquez will be there to punt. Renfro will be the deep man to return for the Bandits. A punt heading toward the sidelines and finally heads out at the 12-yard lines. Tampa Bay will get their start deep in their own territory. Brady leads them out again. He's 3 or 4 so far for 63 yards and the one interception, but also the one touchdown. The 40-yard uh, touchdown pass to Ridley near the end of the first quarter. So they trail by 3, 10-7. Tampa Bay with their third possession of the ball game. Davis lined up in the eye behind Brady. Davis gets the handoff, goes up the middle. He's got plenty of room. He gets a first down. Williams will bring him down at the 25-yard line. So Tampa Bay's only run the ball three times already. They've gained 26 yards. They're averaging 8.7 yards a carry so far. Three wide receivers set for Tampa Bay. Davis is the lone setback. Brady calling out the signals. He's back to pass on play action. Throws to McLaren at the 40. It's complete. Gain of 17 yards. They'll mark the ball at the Tampa Bay 42. Kind of have a feeling this one might be a, an offensive scoring game with the way it's going so far. Leonard Fournette comes in at running back. I formation behind Brady. Fournette gets the call. He's going to go to his right. And he gets close to a first down. He's finally brought down by Lawson just inside New York territory, just past midfield at the New York 49. So Tampa Bay will go to a two tight end set. Davis is the lone tailback. Brady with the play action. Back to pass, leads it to Ridley, near side of the 40, gets a 10-yard completion. Ball will be placed at the New York 39. Brady had a pretty good game in the losing effort against Birmingham last week. Threw for 319 yards. He was 25 of 39, three touchdowns, and one interception. Again, they came up a little bit close there. They lost 34 to 31 at Birmingham. Davis back in at running back. He gets the call, off tackle right, and he is stopped after a gain of two yards. 11.48 to go, second quarter. Generals lead it 10-7. Brady goes back into the pistol formation, three wide receivers set. Calling out the signals to his offensive line. 
Brady, back to pass. Fires to Cup, complete to Cup. He's got room, look out. He's going all the way to daylight. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. And another long completion, this time Brady, 37 yards to Cooper Cup. And the Bandits have their first lead of the evening. Let's take another look at that on our instant replay. Plenty of protection, quick pass, and once again, the Tampa Bay wide receiver has his uh, defensive back beaten. Sanders on to kick the extra point. It is good. Tampa Bay leads it 14-10 with 11 minutes to go here in the second quarter. So if you're just joining us, New York had started off with a 10 to nothing lead, and then Tampa Bay has come right back. Brady has thrown for two touchdowns, and they now lead it 14 to 10. Sanders prepares to kick off to Azulski. It's a short kick near the goal line. Azulski brings it to about the 20 yard line before being dropped. If you're watching WFL Monday Night Football. Tampa Bay Bandits, New York Generals. We've got a good one going so far. Daniel Jones so far on the night. Four of eight, 40 yards. He's going to line up in the pistol. He's got three wide receivers. Turning into be a very entertaining game so far. Jones, back to pass, has time. Completes to Davis on the far side of the field. Davis brought down by um, Moore at the 28-yard line. It'll be second and three. Daniel Jones in his second year underwent a trial by fire last year. Uh, a lot of tough games, a lot of tough losses last year. But he seems to be using that to, to uh, his advantage here and to hopefully become a better quarterback. To for, for New York fans, that he becomes a better quarterback. Robinson's the lone setback. Jones in the pistol. It's a draw play to Robinson. He'll get the first down. Wiley needs a little help getting up from the play. The right guard seemed to be staggering there for a little bit. But it's first and 10 New York at their own 35-yard line. They'll stay in the three-wide receiver format. Jones lining up in the pistol. Play action to Robinson. He's got plenty of time to throw. Looking for Chenault across the middle, but there were two guys on him, and he overthrows the receiver. Second and ten. Just under ten minutes to go here in the second quarter. Bandits lead at 14 to 10. Robinson on the day, only seven carries, only 18 yards. And he's going to get the handoff. He's going to go right up the middle and gain about three yards. So it'll bring up third and seven for New York. Ball will be placed at the New York 38. New York will empty out the backfield. They have four wide receivers, one tight end. Golden Tate is now in the game. Jones back to pass. With time, he looks for Tate, but the ball is incomplete. Tate couldn't bring it in. Brings up fourth and seven. Punting situation once again for New York. They can kind of feel momentum shifting a little bit to Tampa Bay. So the punt, deep. Returnable, Renfro, brings it to the Tampa Bay 21. We have eight and a half minutes to go. Second quarter, Tampa Bay leads at 14 to 10. Looking to get a victory here on the road before heading home next week. Next week, Tampa Bay will be facing their I-4 opponents in the Southern Division, the Orlando Apollos. For their home opener next Sunday. New York will be staying here and playing the Philadelphia Blitz.
High formation behind Brady. Leonard Fournette is the tailback. The give is to Fournette. He gets past the 20, out to the 30. Finally stopped by Nelson at the 32-yard line. Tampa Bay having success running the ball. Six carries, 48 yards, eight yards a carry. New York has run it a few times more, 13 carries for 56 yards, so they're only gaining half that. They're getting 4.3 yards a carry, but they also have the one touchdown rushing. So Tampa Bay, first and 10, ball at their own 32. They lead 14 to 10. Fournette stays in the game. He gets the call once again, off tackle right. Finally stopped by Sweat at the 34, gain of two. Fournette, four carries for 32 yards. This time Davis will come in. He'll be the lone setback as Brady will go with three wide receivers this time. Brady, six of seven, 127 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Brady. Back to pass. Has time. Looking for Cup. It's complete near the 40. Nelson knocks him out at about the Tampa Bay 38. So it's going to bring up third and four for Tampa Bay. This will be Tampa Bay's first third down that they have faced tonight. So what will they do here? They empty out the backfield. It's Cup, Ridley, McLaurin, and Renfro at the wide receiver positions. Man in motion. Brady, back to pass. Fires to a wide open Cup at the 45. Finally brought down by Nelson at the 46. First down Tampa Bay. Six and a half minutes to go. Second quarter. Brady and his receivers seem to be getting in a rhythm here. Only one incomplete pass so far by Tom Brady. Leonard Fournette back into the game. Fournette will get the handoff. He goes right up the middle between the center and the right guard, brought down by Sweat after a two-yard gain. Tampa Bay having some success running the ball. And I got my rushing numbers a little mixed up. It was Tampa Bay last year who averaged 62.2 yards last year. But New York was not much better. They averaged 81.2 yards a game. So apologize for that. <laughs> Just now caught that. All right, so second and eight. Davis is now into the game. Davis will get the handoff here. Off tackle right. He's trying to penetrate midfield. He's finally stopped by Clark right at the Tampa Bay 49. Brings up third and seven. We're almost at the five-minute mark of the second quarter. Empty backfield for Tampa Bay. Brady in the pistol. And in motion. Brady back to pass. Fires. And Brady was looking to dump it off to McLaurin, but it falls incomplete. Tampa Bay will be forced to punt the ball. J.K. Scott in to punt for the first time today. And he's going to probably try to angle this one out of bounds. Standing at his own 35. He's got a high kick. Ozulski will get it at his own 10. He's going to try to return it, and he gets some daylight there. Finally brings it to the New York 30. We have 4.15 left to go. First half. New York trails 14 to 10. So we might see some hurry up offense here um, as, as New York will try to regain the lead that they had earlier. They originally led 10 to nothing at the start of this game. Took, taking advantage of a, of a Tampa Bay turnover uh, deep in Tampa Bay territory. I formation behind Jones. Robinson is the tailback. And before he can hike the ball, there is a whistle. And it's a false start penalty against New York. So they're going to back them up five yards. Only the second called penalty tonight. Both of them have been on New York. Two penalties for 10 yards. 
So now Jones will line up in the pistol. He's got three wide receivers. Robinson is the lone setback. Receivers are Crowder, Davis, and Chenault. Thomas is the tight end. Jones, back to pass. Firing, completes it to Chenault. There's another penalty flag down. And let's check in with Carl Cheffers to see what it is. It's offsides on the defense. And Robert Sala is telling Cheffers that he's going to decline it. He'll take the gain of the play, which was 12 yards. So it brings up second and three. Four minutes, nine seconds to go. Le'Veon Bell comes into the game. Bell gets the handoff. And he does not get much. In fact, they're going to say Bauer stopped him at the line. For those of you a little bit unfamiliar with the WFL, Le'Veon Bell spent a lot of the early part of his career with the San Antonio Commanders. And then he ended up sitting out a year over a contract dispute and ended up being selected by New York in free agency last season. But he did not have that great a season last year. He... Uh, ran the ball 197 times for 483 yards and one touchdown. He did have a better uh, year in receptions. He was uh, he led the team in receptions, 67 catches, 455 yards, and four touchdowns. So one thing New York is looking to do better this season, in addition to winning more games, is to to improve their offense. So we're at third and three, four minutes and four seconds to go. Ball at the New York 37. Jones is going to empty out the backfield once again. Four wide receivers set. Jones calling out the signals. Man in motion. He's back to pass. Fires to Tate. Tate has the ball at the 40. He's going to pick up the first down. Brought down at the New York 45. 3.26 to go. And we might see him lining up for passing here and hurry it up a little bit. Jones, the lone man in the backfield. Fires to Tate again at 50. Gain of six on the play. Whitehead brings him down. Balls at the Tampa Bay 49. 2.44 to go. Jones, 8 of 14, 73 yards. Jones back to pass. He's in trouble. There's a loose football there. Dominican Sue was in on that. And the referee's going to say New York ball. Covered by Pinter. Ball will be marked at the 47. In the meantime, Tampa Bay has called a timeout. So they have two remaining. It brings up third and eight. So the thinking there is... Tampa Bay might be getting the ball back with a little bit of time. We're still on the north side of the two-minute warning as well. So New York looking to, to maintain possession and possibly get some points here before halftime. Jones in the pistol formation. Has four wide receivers. Man in motion. Jones back to pass. Fires complete to a wide open Crowder. Crowder's got some daylight. Finally brought down by King at the Tampa Bay 32. And this is going to bring us to the two minute warning. Tampa Bay leads at 14 to 10. Two minutes left in the first half. Take a look at the timeout situation. Tampa Bay has two other timeouts left. So does New York. New York has the ball at the Tampa Bay 32. They trail by four, trying to take the lead before halftime. Tampa Bay would get the ball to start the second half. So Jones will set up in the pistol again, four wide receivers set for New York. Jones, back to pass, drifting right, finds Tate. Tate brought down by Whitehead at the Tampa Bay 25. New York's going to go to the hurry up. They're not going to huddle. Jones lines him up. 
Jones pulling out the signal. Back to pass. Fires over the middle for Tate, but it's incomplete. Brings up third and three. A minute 30 to go in the second quarter. So Jones will get a moment to huddle up with his team. Probably to discuss this play and a, potentially a fourth down play. But they're well within Myers' field goal range. Kicks the field goal here, they'd only be down by one. But then again, giving Tom Brady over a minute left and two timeouts. And the way they've been moving the ball down the field, um, New York will probably want to think about getting the first down here. So Jones sets his receivers, calls out the formation. Man in motion, Jones back to pass, firing to Davis. Davis gets the first down. Under 90 seconds to go. They got to hurry up to the line. Ball will be placed at the Tampa Bay 21. Jones, Jones calling out the signals. He's back to pass. Fires to Crowder near side at the 15. Spun down by Jones. Jones is spun down. So Jones to Jones, tackled by Jones. <laughs> Ball will be placed at the Tampa Bay 12. They're still in the hurry up. They're not going to use the timeout. Daniel Jones, back to pass. He's in trouble. He's going to run for it. He'll get the first down. But he's going to use a timeout here. Got to settle these guys down here. 40 seconds left in the second quarter. Ball is at the Tampa Bay 10. It is first and goal. New York has one timeout remaining. Possibly take the lead here. Or at least close the gap to one point. Jones breaks the huddle. Tampa Bay defense looks ready. Jones in the pistol. Back to pass. Looking. Looking. Finds Davis. <laughs> Davis won the jump ball against his defender and then was able to, to tumble in for those last remaining yards. So with 34 seconds left... Jones completes a 10-yard pass to Davis. And we're a Myers extra point away from New York taking a three-point lead. Wow. So New York completes a 12-play, 75-yard drive, just under th uh, three minutes, 41 seconds. And they're back in the lead. Tampa Bay now. Can they get on the score before halftime and then get the ball again the second half? And do some damage there. Harris with a 32-yard return. Tampa Bay now has 27 seconds. Brady brings them out of the huddle. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Let's see what the Bandits have here with just 27 seconds to go until halftime. Calling out the signals. Back to pass. Looking for Cup, but Nelson was on the coverage. Incomplete. 22 seconds left to go. And if Cup would have gotten that one, it would have been off to the races. Brady in the pistol. Back to pass. Has time. Fires near side to Ridley at the 45. He's tripped up by Williams there. And they're going to call an immediate timeout. With 14 seconds left. 14 seconds left. Ball at the 46. Let's see what Brady and company can dial up here just before halftime. First and 10. Four wide receivers. Brady. Man in motion. Brady back to pass. He completes a short pass to Higby, but he loses a yard. They're going to have to use their last timeout. Oh, dear. So Higby was a safety valve. But he ends up losing a yard. So the ball is at the Tampa Bay 45. And they're going to run, it looks like, one more play. Second and 11. 
Man in motion, Brady, for what would probably be the last play. Ball deflected, and there's four seconds left. So Brady was looking on a long slant there to Renfro, but it got deflected. So four seconds left. See what Brady and company can do here. Hoping for some maybe some type of pass interference penalty on defense. Ten, Brady's 10 of 14 on the night for 151 yards. He's back to pass. Ball's completed. Ridley just past midfield, but they're going to run out of time. Triple zeros on the scoreboard as both teams head to the locker room to start halftime. New York Generals lead at 17 to 14. We'll take a look at our week two recap when we return. Score from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx here at Week 2, Monday Night Football, the World Football League. New York leads at 17-14. A quick look at our halftime statistics. Uh, New York got off to a great start. First possession, they had the ball for just over nine minutes, having to settle for a Myers 23-yard field goal. Then taking advantage of a Tom Brady interception, New York got the ball back. Uh, Robinson just had to carry the ball over the goal line, a one-yard run. They let it 10 to nothing. Then Tampa Bay came back. Brady completed two long touchdown passes. The first one was a 40-yard touchdown pass to Calvin Ridley. Put him on the scoreboard for the first time. And then early in the second quarter, Brady again, this time a 37-yard touchdown pass to Cooper Cup, and gave him their first lead. And then just before halftime, Daniel Jones connected with Davis from 10 yards out. And that's where our score stands now, 17-14. And looking at the statistics, uh, the edge in rushing, uh, slight edge goes to New York. Uh, passing, slight edge goes to Tampa. Uh, Penalty-wise, New York has two penalties for 10 yards. Looking at the third down uh, uh, conversions, Tampa Bay 1 of 3, New York 6 of 9. Time of possession, New York 16 minutes, 55 seconds. Tampa Bay 13 minutes, 5 seconds. So, let's take you around the league and talk about what happened in week 2 of WFL action. We'll start in Philadelphia, where the 0-1 Philadelphia Blitz got their first victory of the year by defeating the Toronto Hitmen 31-24. Ronald Jones the second was the game's MVP. 19 carries, 113 yards, and one touchdown. In our nation's capital, the Federals lost to the London Knights, 27 to 14. Russell Wilson, 35 of 48, 315 yards, and one touchdown in that game. Over in Detroit, the Wheels got their first victory of the season by defeating the Mexico City Aztecs 42 to 31. Aaron Rodgers completed 32 passes out of 41 attempts, 316 yards, three touchdowns. And in Memphis, the battle of the undefeated, the Chicago Fire defeated the Memphis Express 33 to 23. Kyler Murray uh, 22 of 41, 153 yards, and two touchdowns. In Denver, another Central Division matchup. The St. Louis Stars improved to 2 0 with a 27 to 24 victory over the Denver Gold. Kirk Cousins, 31 of 47, 297 yards, and two touchdowns. And then the big story of the week. In Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Express defeated the Oakland Invaders 16 to nine. And the the unfortunate bad news there, Dak Prescott injured, broken ankle early in the fourth quarter during a passing attempt to Slayton. Does not look good. He is probably going to be out the rest of the season because of that injury. And then on the Oakland side of the ball. Uh, All-star tight end George Kittle injured his Achilles late in the third quarter and looks to be missing some significant time. So a victory for Los Angeles. Sole possession of first place, as you see there, in the Pacific Division. But they do lose their starting quarterback uh, to a, a, a terrible, terrible ankle injury. In Arizona, the Wranglers defeat the Outlaws 26-20. 
Super Bowl MVP, Ryan Tannehill from last year, 23 of 30, 242 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Edmonds in that game had a 99-yard kickoff return in the first quarter. In Legion Field in Birmingham, the Americans improved to 2-0 by defeating the Commanders from San Antonio, 16-10. Uh, Eric Reed was the game MVP. He makes an interception late in the game to stop a potential San Antonio come-from-behind scoring drive in that game. And in Orlando, Josh Allen had an impressive day as the Apollos annihilated Houston, 42-16. to Josh Allen finished the day 25-31, of 31, 288 yards, 6 touchdowns. He is only the 8th man in WFL history to record 6 touchdowns in a WFL regular season game. Again, our score here from New York is... The, the New York Generals 17, Tampa Bay Bandits 14, will begin the second half in just a moment. As we prepare for the second half, just a reminder, week three concludes next week with that Central Division battle for first place. St. Louis Stars, Chicago Fire, both teams 2-0, both teams battling for first place. So we'll have that for you at the end of week three. So thank you for joining us. We're live here from the Bronx, New York, Yankee Stadium, full house to watch the New York Generals looking for their first victory of the season, also first victory under new head coach Robert Salah. They prepare to kick off to Tampa Bay to receive the second half kickoff. Harris takes it at his own goal line. There's a flag down as there was an illegal block on the receiving team, so the ball will be placed back at the Tampa Bay 9. Tampa Bay has had to deal with some poor field, starting field position tonight. Tom Brady brings out the, the team. Brady so far tonight, 11 of 15, 161 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Leonard Fournette, five carries, 34 yards rushing. And the wide receivers, uh, Cooper Cup, and Calvin Ridley both have four touchdowns. So Brady will line them up in the three wide receiver set. First and ten ball at the Tampa Bay nine. Tampa Bay trails by three as we start the third quarter. Brady back to pass. Complete to Ridley at the 20. Williams will finally get the stop at the Tampa Bay 22. First down Tampa Bay. Brady lines up in the pistol once again. Brady, back to pass. Fires to Cup at the 32, and he will be pushed out of bounds by Nelson. Ball will be placed at the Tampa Bay 33. Another Tampa Bay first down. Brady and his receivers are, are, are in the zone tonight. This time they'll go to a two wide receiver, two tight end set. Ham and Higby are the tight ends. There's a penalty flag before Brady can snap the ball, and that was a false start on Feliciano, the right guard. Backs him up to the Tampa Bay 28. It'll be first and 15. This is That's Tampa Bay's second penalty of the night, so both teams have been penalized twice. Tampa Bay for 13 yards, New York for 10. Brady will go back to the three wide receiver set. Brady back to pass, looking, pass time, fires to Cup over the middle at the 40-yard line. Nelson spins him down. Ball at Tempe 40, brings up second and three. Cup, Ridley, and McLaurin are the three wide receivers. Brady back again, fires to McLaurin at the midfield. He's finally brought down inside New York Territory at the 47. Brady, 15 of 19 for 210 yards now. So in four plays, they have moved 44 yards, and they are inside New York Territory. Brady again from the pistol. Davis, the lone setback. 
Brady fires a screen to Davis. Davis gets out to the 40. He's tripped up by Highsmith at the New York 39. Brings up second and two for the Bandits on their first drive as they open the third quarter. Davis in the I formation. Davis takes the handoff, goes off tackle right. He's past the 30, finally brought down to the 26-yard line. Gain of 13 yards. Davis on the night. Five carries, 32 yards, two catches for 19 yards. And it'll stay with the two running back, one tight end set. Davis gets his number called again. Straight up the middle. Finally brought down by Lawson at the 21, just outside the red zone. Brings up second and five. Fournette comes in to give Davis a break. Tampa Bay continues to run the ball very well. Fournette gets the handoff. As soon as I say that, <laughs> Fournette's dropped for a one-yard loss. So Tampa Bay is now facing third and six at the New York 22. 9.30 to go. They've had the ball for eight plays, 69 yards. Brady will go with an empty backfield this time. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Man goes in motion. Brady back to pass. Fires. And that ball was tipped up. He was looking for Renfro on the hitch. And Lawson knocked it up completely in the air. So it brings up fourth and six. Tampa Bay will bring out the field goal kicking unit. And Jason Sanders is going to try to tie the game here with 8.49 to go in the third quarter. It's on that dirt end field, so that could be a little tricky. The snap, the kick is up. It's a low kick, but it is over the crossbar. 39-yard field goal attempt by Sanders is successful. We have a tie game. Tampa Bay 17, New York 17. Tampa Bay opens the second half with a 10-play, 69-yard drive, taking up six minutes and three seconds. Sanders ties the game on a 39-yard field goal. Sanders tees it up. He's going to kick it off to New York, who will have their first possession of the third quarter. Olszewski, from his own one, returns it to the New York 22. So Daniel Jones, 13 of 20 for 124 yards, one touchdown. James Robinson, eight carries, 21 yards. Good in the running department. Crowder and Davis both have four receptions each. I formation behind Daniels. Got a tie game. Jones hands off to Robinson. Robinson off tackle right. He gets to about the 25. They'll mark him at the 26 after the tackle by Hill. Brings up second and sixth. Stay in the I formation on second and six. Robinson gets the pitch out to the right. He's got room to run. He's past the 30. Brought down by Robinson for 33. A gain of seven and a first down for New York. 7.40 to go. We're almost halfway through a fast-moving third quarter. Brings up first and ten. Jones will go to a three-wide receiver format. Crowder, Davis, and Chanel are the receivers. Oh, and Jones is in some trouble. That pocket collapsed very early. He's sacked by Jordan. The ball was loose. Let's see who's got it. And Jones recovers his own fumble. New York gets to keep the ball, but they'll lose five on the play. My, my, that could have been disastrous for New York here. So he goes back into the pistol on second and 15. He's back to pass. Protection a little better this time, but he fires and overthrows the intended receiver, the tight end, Logan Thomas. This brings up third and 15. New York was six of nine in the first half on third downs. 
They'll empty out the backfield. They'll go to four wide receivers, one tight end. Jones in the pistol. Man in motion. Jones has time. Fires complete to Davis at the 31. And he's going to be knocked out by Moore at... Oh, we have an injury on the play. So let's let's set it up here. Uh, Davis is knocked out at the New York 35. That brings up fourth down. But Nate Solder, Nate Solder, the offensive lineman, uh, they're bringing out the cart. This does not look good. So a significant injury for Nate Solder and already beginning depleted offensive line for the New York Generals. And now they're going to be missing a a a a a much heralded veteran on that offensive line. And they're already struggling to protect Daniel Jones at the start of the season. So Solder's being taken off on the cart. And the punting unit will come out for New York. And this is a deep kick. Renfro will take it at his own 11. Finally brought down at the Tampa Bay 27. We have 5.59 left to go third quarter. The game is tied 17 apiece. Brady and company come out. One running back, two tight ends, two wide receivers. Davis is the lone setback. Brady under center. Back to pass. Fires a screen to Davis. Davis from the 25. He's got room past the 40. Finally brought down by Highsmith at the 42. So a gain of 15. On the night, Tampa Bay offensive racked up 292 yards. New York Generals 188 yards in total offense. Davis, the lone setback. I'm, I'm, Davis in the I formation behind him. Give us to Davis. Churning, right tackle, and he's going to gain five yards. Collier with a tackle at the Tampa Bay 47. We're near the five-minute mark of the third quarter. Close game between these two teams who struggled last season. Both teams trying to, to turn it around on the positive side as we start 2021. Second and five. Three wide receivers set for Brady. Brady in the pistol. Back to pass. Fires over the middle to come inside New York territory. And we have another injured player. This one's Collier for New York. And he was holding his elbow as the training staff was helping him walk off to the sideline. Um. They're going to begin checking him over there in the medical tent, it looks like. So Tampa Bay gains the first down ball. be placed at the New York 46. 4.18 left in the third quarter. Tie game. Leonard Fournette comes in at running back. He is in the I formation behind him. Fournette gets the call. Off tackle left. He's got room to run. Look out. 40, 35. Brought down by Williams at the 33. A gain of 13 yards. Fournette, seven carries, 46 yards. And we see Collier's already coming back into the game for New York, so that's a good sign. If you missed it earlier, Nate Solder, offensive lineman for New York, had to be carted off. Looked like a really bad injury. We do hope he's going to be okay. First and 10 for the Bandits. They look to be on another prospective scoring opportunity here. Three wide receivers for Brady. Davis, the lone setback. Oh, we have a penalty flag. Whistles are going off. And Tampa Bay's pointing to the New York side of the line. And yes, it was encroachment by New York. They're going to move the ball five yards. So it'll be first and five at the New York 28. Three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. So Brady lines up in the pistol. Davis is the other guy with him there in the backfield. Play action to Davis. Brady, back to pass, has cup open at the 16. 
and he is shoved out of bounds by Nelson at the 11th. So Cup, late in the third quarter, eight receptions, 108 yards, and one touchdown on the night. Balls at the New York 11, 3.22 to go. Brady looking for pay dirt once again. Three wide receivers. Brady back to pass. Has time. Looking. Has McLaurin at the four. And he tumbles into the end zone for a touchdown. Touchdown Terry McLaurin. And Tampa Bay has regained the lead. Take a look at that replay. With time, he looks and fires a perfect strike to Terry McLaurin. And the extra point attempt by Sanders. And Tampa Bay has a seven-point lead. They lead 24-17 to over New York. A six-play, 73-yard drive. Only consumed three minutes, 21 seconds. Brady's third touchdown pass of the night. 11 yards to Terry McLaurin. New York needs a response here. Deep kick by Sanders. It will not be returned. New York will take the ball at their own 20. So Brady and his receivers, they, they really seem to be in the zone tonight. Really seem to be on the same page. Daniel Jones had a good start. It's just his offensive line needing to be able to protect him right now. That's going to be the key moving forward. Rob, Robinson is the deep tailback. He gets the call. And nowhere to run. He got back to the line, and that's gracious. Hill with the tackle at the 20. Second and 10. Two tight end lineup for New York. Robinson, the lone setback. Jones, back to pass. Fires a screen down to Robinson with the 18. He's going to pick up a few yards. Oh, and Ndamukong Sue is getting up slowly for Tampa Bay. He's going to get some help over the sidelines, favoring his right knee. And they're going to get a check on him. Meanwhile, New York is facing third and six. Minute 47 to go, third quarter. They trail by seven. Four wide receivers set for New York. Jones in the pistol. Man in motion. Oh, and Jones is dropped by Hill. My goodness, he read that snap count perfectly. So Jones is sacked for the fourth time tonight. It brings up fourth and 11, and New York will have to punt again. My goodness. That was not offsides. <laughs> So New York set to punt. Tampa Bay should get some good field position out of this. Renfro makes the fair catch signal at the Tampa Bay 43. We have 62 seconds left here in the third quarter. Tampa Bay leads 24-17, and they look to be in control here. Davis in the eye behind him. Brady under center. Hands off to Davis, and a gain of four yards. Davis on the night, eight carries, 46 yards. He also has three catches for 34 yards. We have 53 seconds left in the third quarter. This could be the last play of the third quarter. Davis gets the pitch right. Oh, and he's met in the backfield there by Davenport. Loss of four, and... It's going to be the end of the third quarter. Tampa Bay will be facing third and 10 as we start the fourth quarter. They lead it 24 to 17 here on Monday Night Football. Back at Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. 70 degrees here, clear, slightly windy. Taking a quick look at those third quarter statistics, Tampa Bay owning the third quarter, scoring 10 unanswered points. They lead 24-17.
Brady, 20 of 25, 268 yards, three touchdowns, just the one interception. And he's getting support from the running game as well. Cooper Cup, eight receptions, 108 yards, and one score so far. But as of right now, Tampa Bay is facing a third and 10. New York needs a big play here, needs to get a stop so they can try to get back into the game. We start the fourth quarter here in New York. Brady will empty out the backfield. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Brady in the pistol, man in motion. Brady back to pass, has time, completes to Ridley at midfield. And it's not enough for the first down. So he's going to be three yards short of the first down. And Tampa Bay will send out the punting unit. It's a good pass, but was not able to get the yards after the catch. J.K. Scott out again to punt. Ozulski will be the deep man. So Scott looking to angle this one to the sidelines. Try to get him into the coffin corner. Kicking away from Ozulski. It's near the sideline. Ball will be marked. At the 13-yard line, 14-12 to go, fourth quarter. Bandits lead it, 24-17. Daniel Jones and the New York offense come back out. They're one running back, two tight ends for Daniel Jones. He was coming under a lot of pressure here as the game has progressed. Problems with the offensive line, they're now missing Nate Solder. Got to try to keep your quarterback upright. Jones calling out the signals. He's back to pass. Has time. Fires over the middle to Logan Thomas. Thomas gets the move forward to the 20. They'll mark him down to 21. We have a Tampa Bay injury. Shaq Barrett was holding his hand, and he's heading over to the sidelines to get looked at there. So injuries mounting up on both sides as we move into the fourth quarter. Le'Veon Bell comes in on second and two. Eye formation behind Daniels. He gets the handoff. He's past the 21. And they're going to mark him at the 23, but they're going to say he's inches shy of the first down. So if you're New York here, you want to get the first down, you want to maintain possession. You don't want to give the ball back to New York. So Robinson, the deep man, behind Janovich. Man in motion. The give to Robinson. He's going to dive over, and he's going to definitely get the first down. Gain of five, brought down by Greenlaw. First and ten, New York. Ball at the New York 28. So they keep the drive alive here with 13.05 left to go in the fourth quarter. New York's going to switch to a three wide receiver set. Jones in the pistol, back to pass, has time, completes to Crowder over the middle. Crowder brought down near the 40. They'll mark him down at the New York 41. Jones with the stop. And another New York first down. Robinson returns as the running back. He's in the I formation. Jones with a handoff to Robinson, who's brought down by Kendricks at the 44. They'll stay in that formation on second and seven. Robinson gets the ball again up the middle, past the 45, brought down by Kendricks at the 48, getting closer to midfield. Now New York will shift to a two tight end setup. Robinson, the lone setback. Jones back to pass. Pass is deflected. It's picked off by Diggs. Andre Diggs picks off Daniel Jones. Diggs gets his first interception of the season. And it's the first time tonight Daniel Jones has been picked off. Oh, goodness. We'll take a look at that again in our instant replay. Jones back to pass. And again, the Tampa Bay defender there kind of kind of read his mail. 
So Tampa Bay will set up shop at their own 42, 10 19 to go. They lead by seven. So Brady lines them up. I formation. Davis is lined up as the deep, the deep back. Davis gets the handoff to the right, past the 40. Brought down by Collier at the 44, gain of two yards. So Davis on the night, 10 carries, 44 yards, three receptions, 34 yards. Tampa Bay looks to be in control now. The first turnover for New York tonight, and it couldn't have come at a worse time. So three wide receivers set for Brady. He lines up in the pistol. Davis, the lone setback. Brady, back to pass. Completes a underneath to Davis. Davis gains about two yards. So that puts the ball at the Tampa Bay 46 on third and six. We're just under 10 minutes left to go, fourth quarter. Tampa Bay leads by seven, looking for their first victory of 2021. Empty backfield for Brady. Four wide receivers set. And there is a flag. And I think they got the rookie Wurfs with a false start. That crowd noise. <laughs> kind of getting to the, the rookie tackle there. So that moves it back to the 41. And Brady will, will try it again. Brady back to pass, firing over the middle, complete to Cup. He's close to a first down. They bring out the chain gang. They say he's inches short, but head coach Meyer is going to challenge it. He'll challenge the spot of the ball. And upon video review, the instant replay official agrees. Tampa Bay has a first down, and for Cooper Cup, 119 yards receiving, a season high for Cooper Cup. So they get the first down. We're at nine minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Davis, the lone setback. Tampa Bay looking to maybe burn some more time and get another score here to, to, to strengthen their lead. So Davis in the flat. Gains 11 yards. And Brady is just one yard shy of a 300-yard game. And looking up to see how he did last week, I believe. Yeah, Brady threw for 319 yards last week. So one more yard. He'll have two 300-yard uh, passing performances uh, so far this year. They'll stay in the two tight end format. Brady back to pass. Looking, firing, incomplete. He was looking for C.J. Ham. Davis was also in the neighborhood there. So it brings up second and ten. Davis the lone setback behind Brady. 8.06 to go, fourth quarter. Davis gets the handoff. And he's met by Lawson there for no gain. So it brings up third and 10. 7.58 to go. New York defense needing to get a stop here and get the ball back. And they only trail by seven. Four wide receiver set for Tampa Bay. Brady alone in the backfield. In the pistol formation. Back to pass. There's a flag on the play. And let's see what it was. Brady just threw the ball away, but there was holding on the offense. New York will decline the penalty. Now, it brings up an interesting situation here. It's fourth and ten. New York is going to bring out, I'm sorry, Tampa Bay is going to bring out their field goal kicking unit. So Sanders is going to attempt what could be, let's see, so there's a 42. So a possibly a 54, 55 yard field goal attempt here to increase the lead to 10 points. 
the snap, the kick, and he made it with some left over. So a 54-yard attempt by Sanders. He's getting the high fives from all his teammates. Tampa Bay is up by 10 points with 7.14 to go in the fourth quarter. Crucial, crucial field goal there made by Sanders. And he sets up to kick off to New York. Azulski gets the ball to five, brings it out to the 27. So New York has its work cut out for them. Seven minutes, eight seconds left. And they're going to have to begin gaining some yards and move the ball. Jones back to pass. Looking. Fires downfield to Davis. Davis and Moore got tangled up. Davis looking at the side judge there, hoping for an interference call, but there is none coming. That brings up second and ten. Three wide receivers set for New York. Robinson is the lone setback. Jones, back to pass, throws a screen to Robinson. Robinson gets to the 30, finally brought down by Greenlaw at the 32, gain of five. Third and five for New York, 6.56 to go, fourth quarter. They trail by 10 points. They led by 10 early in the game, but Tampa Bay and Tom Brady uh, began, a, began a comeback late in the first quarter. So Jones will go with an empty backfield. He's back in the pistol. Man in motion. Has time to throw. Completes it to Tate over the middle. He's trying to keep reach for that first down marker. He can't get to it. It's fourth and inches, and they're, New York's going to keep the offense out there. They've got to keep the offense out there to try to gain the first down and make up that 10-point deficit. So they go to the jumbo package. Robinson is the deep back. Jones barking out the signals, trying to get him to move offside. Robinson gets the ball, jumps over the line, gains the first down. So New York gets to keep the ball, but there's five and a half minutes left. Jones quickly directs the players where he wants them to line up at. Jones, back to pass, looking. Fires to Chennault at the 45. He gets to the 50. They'll mark him at the Tampa Bay 49, where he was tackled by Whitehead. And New York's going to start to the hurry-up now. They're going into the hurry-up. Jones, calling out the signals. Back to pass. Oh, and it's picked off by Jones. Byron Jones picks off the ball. And Daniel Jones is intercepted for the second time in his many possessions. So with 4.39 left to go, Tampa Bay gets the ball at the New York 39. Oh, Daniel Jones had such a great start to the evening, and now it's ending in a nightmare. So Tampa Bay ball. Under five minutes, they're going to look to run some clock here. Both teams have their full complement of timeouts. Handoff is to Davis, and we have another injury there. Oh, goodness, they're bringing out the cart for Irving. Uh, it's not look good. So we saw Nate Solder being taken out by the cart earlier, and now Irving is having to be placed on the cart So uh, for Tampa Bay. So... Um, so we pause. There's 4.29 left to go in a game. Second and six. Tampa Bay in the driver's seat. Looking to run out some clock and leave New York with their first victory. Hand off again to Davis. He's going to lose a yard this time. So it brings up third and seven at the New York 36. 4.21 left to go in this one. So Brady will line up in the pistol formation. Empty backfield. Hot! 
Brady back to pass, looking. And this one gets picked off by Awuzi. Jadobi Awuzi picks off Brady. Brady's second interception of the night, and there is still life for the New York Generals. They'll get the ball at the New York 39 with 3.31 to go in the fourth quarter. Just when you thought Tampa Bay was going to run out the clock, New York gets a key interception. And Daniel Jones and company get another life line. Jones, empty backfield, he's in the pistol formation, back to pass, has time, complete to Crowder, but only gains about six yards. They're going to have to use the hurry up. They trail by ten. Brings him up to the line. Jones, back to pass, complete to Chenault near the sideline, he's at midfield, they pick up the first down. But they need to hurry. Three minutes, five seconds left to go. Ball to Tampa Bay, 48. Jones back again. There's a flag on the play, but the ball is the pass is completed to Logan Thomas. And let's see what the call is. It's encroachment on the defense, Dominican Sue. So they'll accept the penalty. It'll be first and five at the Tampa Bay 43. So on the, on the evening, Daniel Jones, 22 of 33, 191 yards, has the touchdown, but also two interceptions. Brings up first and five. Robinson comes in as the lone setback. Three wide receiver set for Jones. Play action pass. Jones fumbles. Looks like they got their signals crossed there between him and, and Robinson. Jones gets the ball back, but they mark the ball at the Tampa Bay 46. 2.38 to go in the game. My goodness. They go back to the four wide receiver set. Jones back to pass. Fires to Crowder. 40. Jamison Crowder. Seven catches, 77 yards tonight. Knocked out of bounds at the Tampa Bay 36. 214. We're almost at the two minute warning. First and 10 for New York. Need to get a score here. And then hope for an onside kick recovery. Jones back to pass. Looking. Fires. Trying to. Check it down to Davis, but it's incomplete. Brings up second and ten. Two minutes, nine seconds to go in the fourth quarter. Jones back to pass. There's a flag on the play, and he's sacked by Phillips. And let's see what Carl Cheffers, as he sorts out the, the laundry here, it was a holding call on the offense. That penalty will be declined. The sack will be accepted. We're at the two-minute warning. So New York Generals face a third and 17 from the Tampa Bay 43. A minute 58 left to go. They're in four-down territory here. They need a score, and then they need to hope for some breaks to go their way. Jones's night has just gone from good to bad uh, as the night has progressed. He's in the empty backfield, in the pistol, back to pass. Oh, and he gets sacked again by Phillips. Two sacks in a row by Jordan Phillips, and it brings up fourth and 21. They've got to hurry. Jones bringing him to the line. They need a miracle here to keep the drive alive. Jones back to pass, fires short. Oh, and then Crowder, it went right through his hands, but there, there is a penalty. There is a penalty. Hold on. 
And the penalty goes against Tampa Bay. There's encroachment on the defense. So they'll accept the penalty, move the ball to the Tampa Bay 42. It's still fourth down, fourth and 16. So there's one more chance left for New York. And they need something to happen here. Jones and the pistol, standing near midfield. Back to pass, oh my goodness, Robinson with his second sack of the day. And that's pretty much gonna put a dagger through the heart for New York. Daniel Jones sacked seven times tonight for a loss of 36 yards. And that's pretty much all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. And the bandits can go into victory formation here and leave New York with their first win under the Urban Meyer regime. Brady will kneel down, but New York will call a timeout. So Robert Sala not giving up the ship yet. Again, both teams will be playing at home next week. Tampa Bay will be hosting Orlando, the war on I-4 from Raymond James Stadium. Orlando off to a 2-0 uh, start. And New York will be hosting the Philadelphia Blitz in week three. So after the timeout, kneel down formation once again. As Brady takes the kneel down, New York will call their second timeout. So minute 29 left to go. And we'll see if New York uses their third and final timeout here, or did they save it? They have just under 90 seconds left to go. Brady content to, to kneel down once again, and New York will call its final timeout. So uh, Tampa Bay will punt it away. New York will get the ball back, and they trail by 10 points. J.K. Scott set to punt it. Oh, there's a snap by Jensen. It's a low snap. It's blocked. Chase Young, the number one overall draft pick, blocked the punt. Lawson comes away with it. New York has the ball at the Tampa 32. With a minute 20 left, New York, no timeouts. They trail by 10. They have a lifeline here. Oh, my goodness. It is New York ball at the Tampa 32, a minute 20 left. They need something to happen here. They're getting the lifelines. Daniel Jones back to pass, fires, looking for Crowder, but it's incomplete. He's batted away, brings up second and 10, a minute 15 to go. Jones, he takes off to run as the pocket collapses. He's tripped up by Moore at the 26 is a gain of six yards. 64 seconds left. They've got to hurry. Ball at the 26. Jones, back to pass, has time. Fires over the middle for Crowder. It's incomplete. 47 seconds left. Now, it's fourth down, and New York is bringing out the kicking unit. So the, the thinking is here, get the field goal. Put it to within seven, and then try the onside kick, and then go for the touchdown that way. So they are going to bring out Jason Myers. So Myers will go ahead and attempt the field goal to see if they can bring him within a touchdown, and then it's the... The onside kick routine, but they've already been getting some lifelines already. A blocked punt by the number one overall pick. Let's see what else will be in store for New York tonight. As Jason Myers lines up this field goal attempt. The snap, the hold, the kick is up. 
43 yard attempt by Myers is good. So with 41 seconds left, Tampa Bay 27, New York 20. And Tampa Bay special teams coach is setting up the, the hands team. So all the players on the front line there will be uh, players who are used to handling the ball for the expected onside kick from New York. New York recovers it. They'll, they'll get a couple more chances to try to get a touchdown to tie the game. If Tampa Bay gets it, the game's pretty much over. New York has no timeouts, and Tampa Bay can run out the clock. So Myers sets up the ball, and here he goes with the onside kick. And the ball is recovered by Tampa Bay. McLaurin comes up with it. Wide receiver Terry McLaurin, member of that hands team, recovers it at the New York 43. So Generals fans are already beginning to head for the exits here at Yankee Stadium. As Tom Brady and company head out, be one victory formation, kneel down, and Tampa Bay will record its first victory of 2021. And that will do it. That puts a cap on a very interesting game. Tampa Bay 27, New York 20. Your MVP for tonight's game, Tom Brady. Let's look at those final numbers. Brady, 24 of 32, 299 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, one sack. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, a uh, lot of injuries in this game. Nate Solder will be out the rest of the season. Uh, Irving for Tampa Bay is also going to be missing some significant time. So Tampa Bay gets the first win of the season. They go to 1-1. One one. New York falls to 0-2. Oh you have been watching Monday Night Football here on the Replay Sports Channel. Next week, week three, we'll be concluding with a great one. Central Division matchup between the St. Louis Stars and the Chicago Fire. Once again, you have been watching Monday Night Football from the World Football League on the Replay Sports Channel, home for great games. Thank you. Have a great night.